Taurus and welcome to my channel. I'm Chandra Lynn and this is going to be your March general reading for 2019. Hope your month is going good so far. Let's see what's going on with you guys because I know all the other signs are kind of like really like kicking butt but they're all very busy all except for one sign and all I keep envisioning is um that Guardians of the Galaxy 2 movie at the beginning where like the baby Groot is dancing while everybody else is taking care of like some serious shit like that's what it feels like right now like there's just one sign out there dancing around while everybody else is just like throat punching you know their problems away <laughs> that's kind of how it feels Anyways, remember that this is general, so take it how it resonates with you in your life and your situations and your experiences and leave what does not. Let's get your energy card, Taurus. Okay, so you got medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. So apparently we're still down with just one sign dancing around and the rest of you guys like really getting some heavy duty shit taken care of, okay? So like, um, like the first thing I'm seeing was like her upside down, right? And that's what I get is that she felt like she was before, what you felt like you were before, that's what I'm being told. It's almost, it's almost like I'm hearing, um, mm, I'm hearing a, uh, you've been right before. You've known, like, when you hear her come within you, when you, when you hear her come out, you always listen to her when it is somebody else. You always listen when it is for somebody else, when it is for those that you love. Um, what you're being asked right now is, if you're always right for everybody else, why wouldn't you be right for yourself? Yeah, and that just felt like some really heavy shit right there. So we're gonna, I'm gonna start shuffling and I'm gonna, I'll just kinda See what energies are floating around off that yes it is it is it is like a it, it is it's almost like an intuitive gift yes when you look at okay so the most amazing thing about mothers okay and this is like one thing that I try like I will I will say sometimes because my twins were born extremely premature so I was constantly learning about things but the biggest thing that I found out was how amazing um, and how much medicine is in a mother's breast milk and with my daughters being in the NICU for 17 and a half weeks, I saw a lot. And because the hospital is far away from where we lived, I was actually staying at a Ronald McDonald house close by um, the hospital. Okay, so talking to other moms with preemies in there and kind of seeing the pattern, it wasn't hard to see that, yes, breast milk does benefit the babies a great deal and that's because our bodies will instinctual like they know like oh no the baby's getting sick we gotta give the baby this we gotta make the baby this our bodies do all of that for our children okay so what what's so hard to believe about our bodies being able to do that for ourselves 
and I'm, I mean, I'm not just talking about women. Like our, that kind of got weird. Well, weirder than a normal reading. Yeah, okay. You got the shaman card in yourself. With that medicine, mother, You. it's almost like, <sighs> male and female attributes and also from two different like but it's very much this is very much a gift it's very but it's not a gift it's something that you're entitled to something that everybody is always entitled to if they like if they get here is yeah see holy moly like you are very much um all, all I'm picking up is that there is there is something going on. It's almost like you you don't even want to talk about it because you laugh about it when you talk about it or when you try to talk about it because it seems absurd. It seems unbelievable is what I'm being told. But all I know is that if you are hearing the message, like if you're always right for everybody else, why are you never right for you? And knowing that those feelings normally come when a danger moment arrives with the medicine mother and the shaman, the ancient healing wisdom in yourself, and you're like, oh, the, like, who, the, the most powerful energy going on right now for you mixed in with this love and compassion, because that is honestly what a like that is that is the embodiment of these energies it's it's like a pure vessel of of love all right <clears throat> you are being guided to move this is the energy that you are currently feeling right now and and it's it's kind of you're at the ending stage in this reflection right now, okay? You're at the ending stage in this reflection, this reflection time. It's it's almost like you're gonna go. You're gonna go where you're, like where you're hearing yourself, hear yourself telling yourself to go, okay? Um, but it is it is, yes, it is very scary because you can't you don't see it. You can't see. And so it's, there's almost this fear of like, well, what if I step into something that's worse than what is already is, is what I'm being told. Okay. Um, that is what, that's, that's also where this energy comes in. Now think about it. When this energy has come forth for those that you love, did you have, when, when you were when this energy hit you, did it have anything to do with your own ideas of what somebody or something should do? It, it was more about a pure, just like, oh my goodness, I love you, please, blah, 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 whatever it was, right? That is exactly what this energy is too. It's almost like you have to trust yourself. You have to, you have to trust yourself and believe that you're not tricking yourself okay and it is it is it's something that you've never this is this is completely different this is this these what you're hearing what you're experiencing what you're feeling guided to do it is completely a breach of what you normally do it's almost like stepping into a whole new environment and it is but I promise you it will be okay whether this is a spiritual awakening or whether this is you feeling guided to get out of a situation, um, everything, everything will be okay. There is, this is from the Father. This is power. This is like, this is the the message I'm getting is yes, you have yes, you have this yes, you have this yes you can do this um and like i said that reflection time's coming to an end right um but the mother card is giving you this rain purification it's 
all I all I can hear is this is kind of what's going on like you can hear her but now you're hearing her you're really hearing her for you okay and imagine you're kind of caked in like some kind of crud right and it's all over you makes it hard for you to move like if you can imagine like a a, a clay mask on your face right it kind of like once it tightens up you can hardly smile and everything um, when you heard her for you that clay mask is coming off it's coming off no matter what is what I'm being told and it's coming off from a place of love and compassion it's kind of like this clay is sucking the nutrients out of you and it's sucking your water out of you it's what I'm hearing now okay and yes very much this is a wake-up call okay this is this is kind of um, like a tower moment that's going on because it's almost like holy crap so what you're saying is what I thought I was imagining and being all crazy like could actually be happening because I do have these moments and I don't know how to explain them and all of that is it's yes I I don't know how else to um, to tell you but yeah welcome there's there's quite a few of us actually so but what's important about this tower moment is for you it's almost like you're being told you're going to be okay you're going to be okay this tower moment this wave coming in it's not going to um destroy you it's not going to destroy the things you love it's not going to take away the things you love or that love you. It, it'll it transform some things. Um, but this is about allowing you to, like, get rid of that clay mask that's all over your body. And, like, just imagine, you never knew it was there. You never knew it was there. And now you know it is, but now you know it's coming off. And I am being told, like, it's it's kind of like some people get it almost all the way off before they even realize what's going on. And that is quite a, a journey of not knowing. We got any more advice for Taurus? Yes, like, whoo, you got the strength, yo. Whatever, yes, okay. Strength, courageous, and healing. You're kind of going through, um, like, whoo, yeah. I need to get those on this. All right, Taurus, so you're, you're obviously kicking butt and not dancing to the music. But in a sense, you should because this, like I said, this is going to let you know. Like, you might feel like you're going to fall when this wave comes, but that's when you realize. It's, it's all I'm hearing is like, that's when you're going to realize that you don't need a solid foundation because you're a divine being and your ass can freaking float. And I sure hope that resonated with you. And if it didn't, I sure hope you clicked off this video before now. If you have any questions about what, what this reading went over and how it pertains to you, or if you need to talk to somebody about this, my email address is below. Shoot me a line. And um, if you'd like to donate to the channel, the link is below in the box as well. And I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. Much love to you.